Yeah, that's me, Token Vaping. How's it going, guys? So, today's juice review is actually a new line that I'm adding into my rotation. As you all know, um, if you've been watching my videos and if you haven't had a chance to see a lot of them, there is that red subscribe button. It will keep you up to date and informed on my new videos when I post them. Um, I am trying to shorten the amount of time each video takes because I know after a certain amount of time it tends to be a a bit harder uh, to be able to sit through the entire video so I am trying to shorten them um, but I'm also trying to not lose the ability to focus on the company and the flavors and things like that so by shortening them it is a good thing however the downside to that is it does tend me does tend to take me a little bit longer to get through uh, multiple flavors from companies that um, you know, honor me with that, uh, with the ability to uh, test and review um, multiple flavors from them. So it's a give or take, good or bad, either way. I am trying to do it in the most fairest, respectful way. They're taking the time to not only make amazing flavors and put them out to the public, but they're also allowing me the privilege and honor to review them. So I'm trying to do the best that I can. So just bear with me and we'll get through this. Now, today's juice review does have a little bit of a history to it. Um, as you all know, I grew up on the East Coast, uh, New York. So this is a this is an area that I do I do know and a little a little bit of, but this is the company is called Susquehanna. Sorry, didn't mean to. Um, it's called Susquehanna Artisan Liquids, um, artist artisan e juice. I apologize. Now Susquehanna, if any of you that uh, have a history uh, fetish or just know about history or remember it from school, um, Susquehanna is a river that is based on the East Coast. It mainly runs through New York and Pennsylvania, but that's not the only two states it goes through. Now really fast on that Susquehanna basically is just comes from the term um, from a tribe uh, Lenape Lenape uh, they're the Delaware Indians uh, that resided there um, the term basically is uh, from uh, Susquehanna um, is what the original wording was for and it literally just meant Oyster River but that's the, a quick little blurb on the uh, backstory to the actual name of the river now Susquehanna Vapors, because they are based in uh, central Pennsylvania, that area as being part of, the, uh, you know, with the, with the colonies and everything else, New York and all that, um, they're really, really focused, especially the older towns and things like that, they're really focused on... Um, I guess, as their website puts it, um, artisanship and the quality of products that are put out there and the dedication um, and pride that goes into everything that is done out there so why should this be any different you know they live in the area they're doing what they can for this and they're just trying to make sure that what they put out is going to be um, you know just on the same level so it basically is more fitting that's why it does have the artisan e-juice um, listed in the title as well but you can find all of this out at their website, which is susquehannavapor.com. Um, they're also on Instagram and Facebook as well. So definitely give them a check out. There is some interesting facts and things like that. Now, this basically, this is a six flavor line. And uh, I will be going through these as best I can. These are offered in three bottle sizes. It is a 30, 60, and a 120. And they do offer a 0, a 1.5, a 3, a 6, and a 9. So they do offer a wide range of nicotine levels but they don't go super high because again it's not about how much nicotine you can get out of the vape it's about how much you can enjoy the vape how much the quality of the flavor is um, and the overall experience of it more so than the nicotine focus itself these are an 80 20 mix so it's definitely going to give you a it should give you a really smooth vape um, and we're hoping that it definitely obviously is going to be good on um, flavor as well as uh, lack of throat hit for those of you that aren't a big fan of it um, but we'll get to that here and this is as you can see this is the the bottle name of the company Susquehanna artisan e-juice saber sauce now as a Star Wars fan obviously you know I'm gonna automatically hit the one that has the saber in the name um, it does have the warning labeling and everything on there bottle size nicotine content this is a three it is a 30 ml bottle and the ingredient labeling as well it does have a safety seal so this is a first vape first review as i always try to do which is going to be on a fresh wick as i always try to do and as i always try to do i use texas tough cotton um it just works really well um it's easy to uh to work with it, it conforms 
easily. Um, but the main reason why I like it, for me at least, is the fact that even on a first vape, it doesn't have a very strong cottony taste to it. Um, you basically are going to go directly into flavor. So that's a big plus for me when it comes to cotton. But on Instagram, it's Texas Tough Cotton, and I will put the direct link to the, the shopping store on the, in the comment box. So this is Saber Sauce. This is going to be, as they put it, the dark side of strawberries and cream. So it's basically strawberries and cream. Um, it's meant to be a more... I don't want to, it's, it's not harsher, but a, a much more solid flavor. So it's basically, you know, normally um, in general, strawberries and cream is a more lighter flavor. Um, it's meant to be just a, a smooth mix, but more on the creamy side. This is the dark side, so it should be a more, more of a punch of flavor. But you definitely do smell the strawberries and cream. And at an 80 to 20, this should definitely have a, a pretty solid uh, flavor hit to it. Now... Not only is it, you know, akin to my preferences as being called Saber Sauce, um, but strawberries and cream is also one of my main go-to flavors. So this has a double shot to this that hopefully this will basically be a good first flavor to try out for this line. Um, and we will definitely get to that. Now, regardless, remember, regardless of how I take to this flavor, regardless of what I get out of it, um, this isn't meant to be the end all be all. Everybody has a different taste preference. Everybody has a different vaping style. So I'm just trying to give a more informative base to go off of just so that you can decide whether or not it's something you want to take a chance on. Um, if you if your local shops don't carry this line or if it's something that, you know, you think might not be something you want to take a chance on right away. So I'm not trying to impose it. I'm not trying to force it. I'm just trying to help more people get to know about different companies and flavors that are out there. So I did my pre-burn, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more in here just to ensure that all the cotton is saturated. Okay. Go ahead and cap up here. And as always, I'm vaping at 75 watts, and this is Saber Sauce from Susquehanna, Artisan E Juice. ahead and pop up a little more juice take a couple more hits and then I will give you my final resolution to this and my feelings on Susquehanna saber sauce so just bear with me here a second So the clouds are really dense. At an 80 to 20, you almost pretty much expect that. I mean, that should be a given. Okay. So dense clouds. At an 80 to 20, it's definitely going to be a heavier, thicker vape. Um, it is much smoother on the throat. There isn't there isn't a throat hit, so there's no worry about that there. Um, on fresh cotton, you're probably going to get a little bit of a scratchiness, but that's not going to be normal throughout the vape. It's just the juice needing to saturate into the cotton. But overall, after multiple hits, it definitely smooths out. There is no throat hit. Now, for strawberries and cream, as it says the dark side, compared to a lot of other strawberry and cream flavors that I've tried, which have been a lot lighter on the strawberry and a smoother vape overall as far as with the... Um, with the cream aspect of it. This definitely has a much more of a strawberry hit, which I really like. It's actually more of a fresher strawberry flavor with cream to it. So I know it says dark side, but it just has a bit more of a strawberry flavor punch to it, but it actually has an, a real strawberry flavor. Um, it's not, it's not a candy taste. It's not an artificial taste, um, so to speak, but it has more of a of a, um, a ripe strawberry, the, the little tart bite that you get, and then all flavor mixed into the cream. So this is actually one of the more solid strawberries and cream flavors that I've had the pleasure of trying lately.
But the nice thing that I like about it, oh, there you are. The nice thing that I like about it is as soon as that strawberry slams into your tongue, the cream hits and then it smooths it all out. So it's not there long enough to say that it's too much or it's too, or too hard of a hit. The cream definitely helps smooth that out. Now, if you like strawberries and cream flavors, absolutely 100% try this flavor. I can promise you it's not going to be, um, it's not going to be a disappointment. Now, as to whether you say it's it's one of the better ones, again, that's going to be up to you out there as, as your own personal individual tastes. For me, this is actually a much more uh, strawberry hit with cream than other versions that I've tried. Now, give or take, it doesn't make it good better or worse, um, but it's definitely one that's going to be up there in your options for strawberries and cream. A lot of times more people like the cream aspect of, of the flavor. This definitely has much more of a strawberry flavor. So either way, regardless, it's definitely enjoyable. Definitely check them out. SusquehannaVapor.com. Uh, Instagram and Facebook as well. Susquehanna Vapors. Thank you guys so very much. This is a huge privilege and honor. I love the name. I love the area that it's based in. Um, definitely look forward to the rest of your flavors. As always, guys, I'm Token Vaping. I'm, I'm here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. Anything that I can do to help further enhance your vaping experience and make it more enjoyable for you, that's the only reason why I do what I do. So definitely hit me up if you have any questions. I will do the best to my ability to answer them as best I can. But until next time, as always, please remember, at the end of the day, no matter what, vape on, vape strong, and have a good night.